one time I feel kind of ashamed of. Uh, we all got it though. We, we pulled this guy's uh, mailbox mm -hmm. out of his yard. Okay. And uh, hung it out the side door of a car, and battering ram down all the other mailboxes in the neighborhood. Okay, so you use one mailbox. To battering ram. All as a battering other, ram, yeah. all the other ones. Okay, and this was premeditated uh, battering uh, no. ramage? Or what? Uh, we were, you know, high school drunk, just, uh, this, this seems like a terrible idea that will get us in a lot of trouble that we're definitely going to do. Let's do it. So no regrets? <laughs> Not really, no. Okay, so. I mean, you know, I would you know, hate to pull someone's mailbox out these days. But, yeah, uh, right, right. Sure. Every day is a blessed day yes. when you wake up to see it. Absolutely. Bam. Yes, exactly. Reggie, thank you, uh, sir. Reggie dropped some wisdom well, on us. When you wake up and see that day, it's a blessed day. Absolutely. No, I don't care if it's raining or snowing yeah. or whatever we are doing. If you just wake up to see it, that's the blessed day. Yeah, no, well, I thank you. And this message has been brought to you by... What's your name? <laughs> My name is Reggie Parker. Reggie Parker. Thank you, yeah. Reggie Parker. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah. Do we have permission to use this uh, on our YouTube web series? Whatever. Yeah. Uh, oh. Smack cam is when uh, I got somebody sleeping or something and a kid come past and smack you and be like smack oh, cam. No. So one night it was full, I'm working on the grill, this whole thing was lined up all the way around and I guess the dude was sitting right here waiting for his order getting his food and he's sitting in the chair just nodding out and they sitting by him taking pictures of him like this with him with the cam and everything. And uh, I guess a dude was walking up the street and must have seen it, because I guess it was before we had the signs up. And he came in, stood right there, was looking. And after the dude kept snapping the pictures, snapping the pictures, he just walked over to him and said, smack cap and smack him. Bow! I said, whoa, that's what we all got to do. Y'all got to take that outside. But, <laughs> but you, you wanted crazy. it to stay kind of a little bit, It was, huh? it, was yeah, it was just crazy. How would you sum it up? What well, should we walk away with that? Uh, Learn how to hold your drink like this. Yeah, hold, hold, if you're gonna, you if you're gonna you drink it. Yeah, you wanna it. drink, you gotta know your limit. You don't know your limit, anything can happen. I almost got busted having sex with my ex-girlfriend by my girlfriend. <laughs> That's some crazy shit. So I'm having sex with my ex-girlfriend. Got my phone out, you know what I'm saying, looking at it while I'm hitting it. You know what I'm saying, you like that shit, talking dirty to her and shit, you feel me? I hit the phone, boom, to turn the light back on because it went black. I turned the phone back around and my girlfriend was on the phone for 30 seconds. I had to get the fuck up out of there, you know what I'm saying? At least it wasn't FaceTime, right? Right, it wasn't FaceTime, it wasn't FaceTime, so. That was some dirty shit, you know what I'm saying? She asked me who it was. I lied and said it was my cousin. You know what I'm saying? He had my phone and shit, you know what I'm saying? I lied and said it wasn't me, but yeah, she heard everything for about 30 seconds. Well, I was just living over in Southeast Asia. Ooh, it's already good. But my dad does an NGO over there. And um, NGO is non-government organization. Okay. But anyways, um, I experienced my first Asian, Thailand, Malaysian threesome. Mm. The country itself, Myanmar, is is uh, obviously Southeast Asia. It's, it was closed off due to the fact that the U.S. sanctioned it because all of these military families were doing illegal business with other countries. So they basically said, we're not going to allow you to import, export, or do any business with the U.S. Therefore, there were no foreigners or any exotic people as we're being, you know, as we're looked at when we go to a different country. It was at the Yangon Hotel. And I didn't even have to pay to get in. I walked in, they, people started smiling, hey, 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 hello. They did a little pat down. Everybody else behind me that was Burmese had to pay. I, I walked straight in, they had to pay seven bucks. Right, right. Went to the bar and talked to the young lady. The young lady had a friend. That young lady had a friend. Took him back to my house. The rest. Thing, thing, things the rest happen. Is the, rest. <laughs> the rest is the rest. And just because you grew up in a place and that's all you may know, understand there are so many different countries and places and people in this world you can't be so closed-minded and tell yourself well this is all i'm ever going to know we went to regionals yeah and we where was regionals oklahoma city okay. so we met okay. we met a boys team from um where were they from? They were Brazilian. Brazilian. They were Brazilian. Yeah. Chile. Uh, Chile. Chile. You met a Chile. Oh, oh my goodness. Yeah, we got some pictures of it and then her 
Yeah. And we got like an hour long cab ride for like ten dollars with like seven girls. Of course you did. That's usually how it works uh, for beautiful women. Uh, we have to pay full price on everything everywhere forever.